welcome back to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I'm Chef Allie along with my partner in crime, Karen Hansen, the hy -Vee dietitian. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glad, Glad to, to be have here. you. Yes. And we are going to show you some um, tips for cutting vegetables. These are our aromatics and these are very important because these provide the foundation of any dish that right. you're cooking. Right. So while I'm showing you how to do this, Karen is going to give you some um, health and wellness tips, right, tips right, all right? Exactly. So here's our bell pepper and we just, I like to look for a bell pepper that is more, um, how should I say that, straight on the sides. You know the ones that you grow in the mm -hmm. summertime and the sides are kind of sunken in? Steer clear of those. Look for the short, fat, squatty guys. Much and, easier to cut. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay him on his side and we're going to cut off the top and the bottom, all right? And then we'll turn our knife, I'm going to cut that again just to get a little bit more off of there. We're going to turn our knife so that the sharp side is out and we'll make a little incision right there, whoops, in our bell pepper just to make an opening, right. okay? And then we'll bring the sharp side into our bell pepper and we'll come around and what we want to do is try to cut this membrane and seeds kind of all in one piece so that we can Perfect. remove that. And then when you open this up, if you look, you might have to go back and trim just a little bit, or if there are some seeds that are maybe stuck to that, just pick up your bell pepper, tap it on your board, and those will just fall off. That's perfect. So many people say, I don't do that recipe because it takes so much time, <laughs> Too much time. to do all yeah. this chopping. And you've just shown us how you could, you did that in less than 15 seconds. Well, and you know what? When you're in the kitchen, you know, we're always talking about mm -hmm. how important it is to have just a few really good tools. tools. You don't have to Absolutely. have all the gadgets as much as we like gadgets. If you mm -hmm. have a good, sharp chef knife and a wooden cutting board to support that, you've got two of the top three exactly. tools that you got to have. So back to our bell pepper. What I like to do at this point is I usually just cut it into thirds, and I know you do this with your bell peppers. Absolutely. Red, yellow, green, doesn't matter. Does not matter. They all cut the same. Right, so cut it into thirds, and then stack those up, one on top of the other. Notice that the shiny side is down, and I'm actually gonna be cutting into the flesh to cut it into my strips. All right, and then at this point, if you were going to put these onto a vegetable platter, Absolutely. you're good to go. But the or you other, can do a little baggie for a snack. For a snack. Put a little hummus right. with it, great protein car carbohydrates. Snack on the go. Exactly. Yep, there you go. Or what you can do is then turn these, if you need to dice it or chop it, to go into your, let's say, your um, stir soup or stir fry, whatever it is you're cooking. You can grab these with one hand and then just cut down through that entire pile all at one time. And, there, and as we're cutting, you know, there's kind of two methods. You can put your point side down, put your finger here. Rock and chop. Kind of rock and chop, exactly. <laughs> or our, um, you can come from the wrist and take this angle. These guys, um, the top and the bottom that we trimmed off, we can, of course, incorporate that into our bell pepper um, pile as well. Right, right. Right? So here is our bench scraper, which is actually a tool that a pastry chef loves to use, but it's very handy for vegetables, for scraping them right. over to the side of the board or maybe over into our bowl, which is probably what I should be doing, yep. putting them into there. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So there, there we go. go. We'll just move those. You add a little yellow, a little red with that. You know, when we're cooking veg with vegetables, mm -hmm. the darker the color, the better the nutrition. Right. Higher in antioxidants. Remember. And especially our peppers because they're so high in vitamin C. Right. And I forget color. that. Right. You right. know, we have a tendency to think of vitamin C as right. an orange. orange is, right. 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 But, but things the, like this are high in vitamin C and fiber. Right. And again, the darker the color, the more antioxidants are in them. Okay. So that's really healthy for us. Good to know. Mm -hmm. And um, here is a jalapeno, mm -hmm. which of course can be pretty wicked. Yes. Uh, very hot. <laughs> because of the oils that are here in our membrane. So I've cut this in half lengthwise. And at this point, I'm going to take my spoon and just remove the. Um, you can use a knife if you like, but I prefer just to use a spoon. But it's always good to use um, plastic gloves whenever you're working with a jalapeno because later on, uh, if, I de if I decided to remove my contact, I'll be thinking of you and you, you know, because that oil will transfer. So scrape that away. And Unless you really like things hot. The heat. That's where the heat that's is. That's where the heat right is. Right there in those seeds right. and membranes. That's where all that capsaicin is, all the heat that we know is in that, right. in that jalapeno. So what we're going to do again, we're cutting into the flesh. We're just going to make little strips. 
And then look how quick you can do that by just going through all of those at the same time. This is our claw. We always want to have our fingers pulled back so we don't chop the ends off, obviously, into what we're mincing. So there again is our rock and chop. Always wanting to keep whatever we're chopping gathered up so that our knife has something to chop down through. We don't want to go this. gather, gather, even if you have to use your bench scraper. And then our point goes down and we rock, 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 rock. Perfect. A way that you can tell if you have a dull knife in the kitchen, get a nice big bundle of cilantro or parsley. Lay that on your cutting board and do your rock and chop on it. Scoot it over. Guess what? If you have a great big green spot of chlorophyll yeah. there, mashed. You have, <laughs> you have mashed them. You have not minced them. You've mashed them. It means you have a dull knife, and so you need to get right. it sharpened. Right. All right. Now, our last aromatic that we're going to show you how to do would be our sweet yellow onion. Right. And I know this has to be good for you, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> It's I good know for, that it it's is good for Karen. the dish. Right. You'll eat more of the healthy stuff because it's flavored great with onion and mm -hmm. all So, And what we did there is I just cut that in half. This trick only works if you cut it through the root end. So cut it this way, all right? And then we want to take our half and we're going to lay it cut side down. We're going to trim off the top and the bottom like that. And then we're going to take the wide flat part of our knife. We're going to lay that right on top of that onion half and then take the heel of our hand Put it right here and we just want to press down just until we hear just a slight little, little crunch. crunch. Mm -hmm. And what that crunch or crack tells mm -hmm. you is you've just released, you've helped your onion release itself so that this skin will just come right off. It'll just, it'll peel off of there easier for you. So we'll lay this down and then what we're going to do at this point is we're going to do what we call is what we call layering. And we're going to make two or three incisions back into our onion. Notice we're just coming about two-thirds of the way mm -hmm. back. Don't need to come all the way back here. Then we'll make our um, incisions down through those layers, two or three of them. Turn it, and then cut down through all the layers and the incisions. So all these pieces here that look mm -hmm. like they're one big solid piece, guess what? They're not. They're all they're nicely all, diced. They're all, yeah. Because have you ever cut an onion, Karen, yeah. to where you look in your pan and you have big pieces, yes. little pieces? And they aren't going to cook as evenly then either. Right. So it is important to kind of yeah. get the right size, all uniform sizes. Exactly. And, and so different dishes, you'll want different size chop. Right. So, so the smaller. more layers right. and the more incisions you make, the finer your finished pieces are going to be. And if you're trying to hide onions <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like from your children house, yes. right then then that's a better option too to type to have smaller pieces that kind of cook down mm -hmm. and they don't notice them quite as much there you go thanks for joining us here in chef Allie's farm fresh kitchen we invite you back for right. more cooking tips cooking videos nutrition health and tips, wellness right. we're, we're glad to have you anytime and also watch for us in Kansas Farm Bureau's membership magazine Kansas Living I'm chef Allie and remember now you're cooking.